everybody. I just want to take a quick minute as I'm on the job site. I'm going to do workshops when this is over. And so we've got three workshops coming up this summer. Look at the link below for the information and pricing on those workshops. Right here is, this is actually the location for the workshops, right where I'm painting. And so you'll see this when you come into town. We are at the intersection of Route 66 going east-west here and 4th Street going north-south. And so this is fun for us to be on this big intersection in Flagstaff doing this mural. I'm very excited about it. But I'm more excited about seeing you visit. So take time to look at that link and I hope to see you here in my hometown. Welcome to my backyard. This is where we've been spending a lot of our mornings, just like this morning. I just want to give you a quick update on what me and Daniel have been up to. We decided to do a mural. We started drawing. We did the rendering first. It was very important because you're on very limited time. We have yeah. to be efficient. No mistakes, yeah. no redos because yeah. I don't want Daniel leaving on a bad note, like just redoing something, leaving, you know, with, with a mistake or something yeah. that we're not happy with. These were two concept ideas. And so the goal is to merge these two concepts. So uh, we really like me and Daniel, as we were discussing just the emotion of this, this one has the better emotional quality, mm. while this one maybe has a better composition for a giant picture. I like having the people a little bit further away because this is a big picture, and so we're going to see lots of detail even at this size in those faces. But we're going to merge the two because this one gives us room to put more vegetation, more colors of plants and greens, and, and that's a nice happy feel that this one will not have as much of. So we'll zoom out a little bit on this same scene, try to do a happy medium between the two. So we spent a good amount of time drawing it out, making sure everybody liked it, working on the proportions. I got on the computer and mapped out every brick mm -hmm. of the brick wall so that we can just count bricks and know exactly where our lines are. Our map. And then we used your iPad using the app called Procreate. Yeah. And so this is uh, has been extremely helpful. Yeah. We just put the drawing in, put a top layer in in that app. It's a, it's a drawing app and you can do multiple layers if you're familiar mm -hmm. with how uh, drawing apps work and so then we're adding color on, on a separate just making a new drawing adding the color with the procreate app and it has been so helpful to to do the color and then go to the wall and just do the same system of colors and yeah. and those of you that are more familiar with my style of painting I, I don't go and buy the colors that are in the picture. I always mix them from the primary. So we just, yeah. we map out the color on the drawing and then we have a strategy. Okay, so we're gonna be working with greens. So first is the green, then we add black or white to make it lighter or darker or both to make it more gray. And everything is just that system, looking at what we need to do from using that app. It's, I, I think this is definitely the future method Oh, yeah. of the, all of my murals. So we made sure yeah. that everybody really liked the feel of the picture and what it will add to the space that we're sharing. It's a shared parking lot and a very visible area. Yeah. So we got on the wall to paint and the sun is blazing hot. The first day yeah. Dan Daniel yeah. is exhausted. He's like, Whoa. man, we can't do that. Because <laughs> no, I left him there to film in colors. Yeah. And he's cooking like a hot dog, you know. Yes. <laughs> Depends of uh, what hour we are on that wall. Yeah. We can paint uh, normal. But yeah. when the sun appear, yeah. man, it's too hot. It's oh you so we started we are building the oven. Yeah, we had to build a, an yeah. overhang. My first idea was, well, we'll just make some ladder racks. We started building mm -hmm. ladder racks out of mm -hmm. wood, and then we finally got those done. And, it, you know, we're on a time limit. I don't want to <clears throat> hire somebody. Yeah. I don't want to go spend a lot of money on the perfect pieces of wood. You know, we're just trying to do this fast. So I grabbed scrap wood out of my studio. Okay, we'll just put this together real quick. We did it. It, it wasn't pretty. 
but we yeah. got it done. We put it on the ladders and then as soon as I put the weight of the tarp over it, it's pulling the ladders together, they're falling over, so we're like, no, this is not gonna work. Yeah, the ladder, yeah. The ladder uh, works for five minutes. <laughs> When the wind comes, and then the wind, yeah, we had it on just one ladder. The wind comes and blows over a whole yeah. gallon of black paint. I'm glad it was yeah. black paint. Yeah. So we've been jokingly referring to that as Daniel's art. Uh, <laughs> art yes. His art. Yes. His Different special art. art. Yes. We uh, modified the plan, and so the mm -hmm. failure of the first plan ended up being the success of our second plan because it's yeah. a way better method. We've got four construction tie down straps tied to each corner of a, just a wood rectangle on the wall and we anchored that to railroad ties out of my backyard we took a Daniel got to use a chainsaw for the first time chopped the railroad tie into pieces that were light enough for us to hoist up onto the roof then we use that as an anchor yeah because it's a flat roof and so now we have an awning that's anchored to the roof and we can adjust the height in and the horizontal uh, vertical horizontal positions as well so we've got shade anywhere we need it now from here on out yeah. you've got maybe like eight days left of painting yes, yes we're gonna make good progress yeah now we have shadows to paint yeah and so in the process of getting those straps I had to get, I left a couple straps that I had used for a dog leash to help our next door neighbor Esperanza with her oh, giant yes. pit bull oh, Hercules. Hercules. And so this was, the, you know, a time consuming <laughs> problem, unexpected problem. I just disappear for an hour because I go to just say hi to this dog and as I'm leaving, He's so lonely, he jumps the fence, he climbs over a fence. I mean, can you imagine, 150 pounds, yes, at least yes, on his yeah. I, I can't lift him up very, very easily. With the harness on, I had to lift really hard just to get him back in his pen. This dog is amazing, it's really an amazing I think it's one of, of a dog. One of the most beautiful pit bull I have ever seen in all my life. This is Hercules, and he's very friendly but not trained and so the owners here do not have the means to take care of him any longer and really want him to go to a good home. So if you know anybody or if you are somebody that would like to take Hercules home, then uh, get in touch with me, send me an email. I'd love to see this dog, he's five years old and he could really use a friend. Would love to see him go to a good home. The owner asked me to try to find a new owner. Yeah. They, they really want him to have a good owner. So they asked me to include this here. Please, Cesar, Cesar Milan, yeah. please. <laughs> we'll send this. Come to Flagstaff. Send. Yes, come to Flagstaff. Uh, visit Hercules. So we're wearing our soccer shirts. Yes. Right? It's Daniel Daniel uh, turned me on. To, uh, he bought me this as a gift. Look. Yeah, you need to turn. Right, right. Okay. Go down. Here, Joe, number 10. Yeah. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> yeah, this is a special gift from Daniel. And, uh, you know, it's been a good conversation starter also because Fernando. Yes, he's, Fernando. He, he's rooting for Mexico. Yes, for Mexico. You, you're representing Brazil. I guess I'm representing Brazil. Yeah. You've got... That's this is home. Corinthians. This is a, uh, the biggest team in the world. Corinthians. Corinthians. Oh, oh, just this like is a soccer, the biggest uh, on the world. You know, in Brazil is on the top. Cool. And the... Uh, Ma the majority of people, population in Brazil, love this team, you know? Alright, cool. Here, you know? <laughs> I do, I you. Maybe we can get some footage of you teaching me some. Yeah, so we some can soccer. make something. Yeah, yeah you know, something. better than I am for sure. Sit, sit is difficult, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sitting, but, we can, sitting, but you can invent a new sport. Can invent <laughs> sit in place. Okay. So we're gonna make more progress on the mural. Yeah. Learn, learn more about soccer. Yeah. And practice. Uh, we need to practice yeah. soccer, you know? It'll be something to do on breaks. Hey, that's our update. And uh, so thanks thanks for watching and joining us for the whole exciting process. I'll be excited to post another update next week. We'll see ya.